let's start by domain discretizations at each step i will explain you the proper syntax proper matlab code so you don't need to mm -hmm. uh, write no a deep knowledge okay. about the matlab program so uh, here i am going to generate a mesh uh, generate a mesh first one benefit of MATLAB is visualization. Is visualization. Okay. So you can uh, use uh, visualizations to understand the concept behind the algorithm, your numerical algorithm that you are developing. So here, let me save. I write FEA and try one another code another m5 consider nn equal to for example five i write here a comment number of mesh nodes number of mesh nodes and let's consider uh, five nodes so x coordinate of each node x coordinate of each node is equal lean a space from zero to d and five nodes so this is the x, x coordinate of uh, each mesh node simply i can i can plot I can plot uh, x uh, x n. This is this is a one-dimensional problem, and y coordinate of each node. Also, I write here equal to uh, zeros. Uh, this is a zeros function in MATLAB. When you want to when you want to generate uh, a zero matrix you can use this this syntax for example i want to generate a two by three zeros matrix right okay. a for example one and two so here i can plot x n and y n and use this uh, command to visualize uh, to visualize them mm -hmm. right so this is xn and yn uh, excuse me this is one one by n this is a vector so you can see these mesh points right we we considered the uh, five equally spaced points from zero to d so but as you know the the situation again i say for two dimensional or three dimensional problems you 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 uh, have to generate a triangular mesh or tetrahedral mesh right it's more complex you have experience of working with the maxwell software right uh, yeah. generation yeah. of uh, triangular meshes for two dimensional problems so five nodes and so uh, you can see these uh, five mesh nodes and here we have uh, five nodes and four elements actually we have this uh, equation number of nodes is equal number of elements plus uh, one actually this is for uh, linear elements and for higher order elements we have uh, we have uh, another uh, equation so the first step is uh, discretization and you should consider these mesh points here we have five points and four elements this is element one 
elements 2, 3, and uh, 4. The next step is uh, the next step is uh, cons considering the proper shape functions, uh, shape functions for each uh, mesh element, mesh element. So suppose, suppose, uh, suppose this is the, this is one mesh element. And suppose this is the, this is the analytic solution. Suppose this is analytic solution. And now we are going to approximate this solution using a line, right? So uh, this is the analytic solution, but we are not going to find the exact solution. We are going to approximate uh, this solution by this function that is simply uh, a linear function. Uh, the the blue curve is FEA uh, solution finite element a method or finite element analysis. So suppose the value of voltage here is V1 and the value of voltage here is V2. Uh, how I can I, how I can write a function that a, fu a function that uh, depicts the equation of this uh, line. So suppose, suppose I define two shape functions. For, exa for example, uh, this one, this one I write here as F, this function. And uh, I am going to consider this function. The value here is equal to 1, and this function, the value here is equal to 1, and here is equal to 0. Here is equal to 0. I call this function n1 and this function n2, a norm or shape function. Do you agree the value of f is equal v1 n1 plus? V2 and 2. Right? So in this equation, we have two unknowns V1 and V2. We have these two uh, unknowns. So we should uh, specify the value of these two unknowns. Actually, these are our solution variables our interest right so the aim in finite element method is to find the voltage for each mesh point the voltage for each mesh point uh, so here we define uh, shape functions like this as i said as you can see uh, here uh, we have this definition, uh, N1 and N2. You can see the value of N1 and N2, as you can see here. So, uh, because, because of simplicity in calculations, we should use uh, a transformation. We can transform this element into an a standard element so here uh, as you can see this element a is uh, from x1 e to x2 e can translate this element to this a standard element so let me uh, explain you uh, other important parameters in the fe code i define this variable n e number of mesh elements is equal number of nodes minus one 
and I define uh, I define this this uh, matrix connectivity list that is uh, equal that is equal that is equal I write uh, this function first I allocate uh, first I allocate a zero function uh, is number of elements and two then I write a for loop for I equal to one to number of elements for j equal to one to two and n. I want to define uh, this uh, matrix. I want to define this matrix connectivity list. For each mesh element, we need to know what is the left, its left hand side point, and its right hand side point. So, uh, you know that, uh, you know that I can write something like this connectivity list of I and J, I and J is equal is equal actually for this problem we have five mesh nodes one two three four and five so this is mesh element one two three and mesh element four so a connectivity list is something like this. I have uh, four elements and uh, for element one, I have point one, point two, point two, point three, point three and four, point four and five. Actually, this is the left point of the element right point of the element this is the method how we store uh, this uh, data so i can write i can write uh, something like this i plus j minus one so if i if i run the code you can see the connectivity list 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, and 4, 5. So, uh, this is the way how we store the corresponding index of nodes of each element.